As Memorial Day weekend approaches, many families are looking forward to enjoying time at pools, lakes, and beaches. The drownings of two young children at summer camp serve as a stark reminder of the critical importance of water safety. Tonight, the I-Team's Paula Vassan unveils alarming gaps in summer camp regulations and lifeguard training standards that could be putting our children at risk. We don't want the parents. On July 20th, 2022. Hi, buddy. Olga Mister's world was shattered. I miss you. When her six-year-old son TJ drowned at a St. Louis County run summer camp. It was so preventable. Exposing significant flaws in summer camp safety regulations. So there was not a lot enough lifeguards to be watching 50 kids. We found out that the CPR wasn't performed correctly. Her son's memories from his love of karate to his artwork are now cherished in this room. I thought he was gonna come home that day. Every year, 4,500 people die from drowning in the United States. A substantial number of these deaths are among children, with drowning being the number one cause of death for kids one to four years old. And a new federal report from the CDC shows these deaths are rising. Behind the stats are victims like Doug Forbes's young daughter. Roxy drowned five years ago at a summer camp in Los Angeles. He founded the Meow Meow Foundation, named after Roxy's favorite stuffed animal. He is now dedicated to preventing childhood drowning and providing comfort to families suffering. Why are we putting 15 and 16 and 17 year olds in these jobs? You know why? Because we can pay them a low wage and because they're available help. He believes the national shortage of lifeguards is compounded by inadequate training programs. He points out alarming issues with certification processes at some of the industry's leading organizations. The American Red Cross actually has no protections, no quality assurance protections against fraudulent lifeguard and water safety certification. In my daughter's case, the lifeguard instructor fraudulently certified himself and he thereafter fraudulently certified upwards of 100 camp counselors as American Red Cross lifeguards. Court records show the instructor shortened lessons and skipped American Red Cross mandated tests. The organization later banned him as an instructor. I believe the standard needs to be raised. Forbes I'm tells the I team that. another leading training group, the American Lifeguard Association, charges hundreds of dollars for online only swim assessments and certificates. The company says it provides a blended learning model. It requires employers to do in-person training. That's shocking. But critics say the association is passing off responsibility for a life-saving job, making money in the process. The organization did not agree to an on-camera interview or phone call. What's needed, he believes, is better oversight. It's about making sure that after you acquire that certification, that you are constantly training and retraining. These parents hope their stories will prompt a nationwide call to action. I'm afraid for the parents who can lose their children. The American Red Cross did not agree to an interview. A spokesperson tells us they offer the gold standard of lifeguard training. The industry-wide problem, water experts say, is lack of regular oversight, testing, and training once someone is on the job. For the I-Team, Paula Vassan, five on your side. If you've been impacted by the lifeguard certification process, the I-Team wants to hear from you. You can leave a voice message at 314-444-5231 or just email Paula directly at pvasan at ksdk.com.